Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Hi, afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on this Sunday afternoon to uh, bring you the wrap up of the uh, power supply. Um, now, this is not going to include the uh, painting. Um, I don't know when I'll get to paint it or even if I'll get to paint it. But I mean, I want to. I just haven't, I, I don't want to get around to it. It's a whole different area where I'm working at. I'll be out in the garage using the sander and stuff like that so I don't know when I'll get to it um, if I do I do if I don't at all anywho um, what I'm going to show you today is basically the uh, inside of the uh, the finalized inside of the uh, power supply one mistake I did make and I want to show you that and luckily it didn't result in a problem yet so Hopefully when I move the wire in question, it'll be all right. But you'll see that in just a minute. So anyway, I want to do that and maybe possibly check the uh, ripple voltage uh, on the uh, transmitter, see what kind of smoothness we got with those capacitors and see uh, if we need any additional. Uh, I don't think there will, we will, but you never can tell. So uh, we'll take a look at that. And like I said, that's going to wrap this up because uh, other than paint, there's not really much I'm going to be able to do to this. So that's going to be it. So let me get into it before we, I talk my head off here like you know I will. So let's get into it. Alright, here is the mistake I made. I didn't realize that this uh, wire running across here was going to be in direct contact with, with this sharp edge on this uh, where that fits in, see that that slot is covered out for the uh, for the uh, thing here. So that wire uh, that fits right in there, and I didn't realize that, but it didn't seem to do any damage to it. So I'm going to just reroute the wire very simply, put it over here. Not hard to do. That'll keep it out of the way of that, and uh, that should be good on that. So we won't worry about that anymore. Now here's the the wiring for it. Uh, there's the uh, switch wire that I soldered in. It goes to the connector. There's the other wire the, for the uh, transformer. And, yeah, there it is. This goes to the uh, receptacle. Um, the power or the uh, output wires are the red and black wires there. They go to obviously the outputs. And the LED comes over the that's for the cathode side right there going to the uh, negative and the other side goes to the positive so that's all hooked out rather nice I, I think it's, it worked out really well and uh, so that's the inside of that and I think I already showed you this but I'll show it to you again this is the uh, bottom half of the uh, everything hooked up working as well as it should so that's how the uh, the finished wiring looks and uh, like I said, really the only thing left to do is some tests. Um, I kind of wanted to take this um, heat sink here, measure the temperature of it, and then run it for a while with the uh, fan running on it just to see what kind of difference there is in temperature on that. So we'll do that. We'll take a reference... Uh, reference... Uh, reading on it. Let's see if I can get this all in frame here. Eighty one point three four whatever. Eighty two volts or eighty two volts. Eighty two degrees we'll say. So that's what's gonna be our reference for it and we're gonna run it for a while and we'll come back and show you uh, how much it did heat up if it heat up at all now the reason I'm doing it with this fan is because it's close to the output of the uh, or the uh, requirements of the uh, AM transmitter which is this main duty of this power supply so let me hook that up and we'll be right back 
Alright, we can see now we have the uh, fan running. It is hooked up. And I'm going to just see what time it is. If I can find my... I started to say my watch. How long has it been since I wore a watch? Alright, it is 327. We'll come back to it in an hour. That'll be 427. So, once that happens, we will get a, a reference. I didn't screw it down, so it's just closed loosely. And uh, I should be able to get a fairly good reading on it when I do that. So, we will come back in about an hour and check it out. Alright, you can see the time there. It's definitely over an hour now. So let's see what we got on the way of heat, if any. I believe the uh, reference voltage, or reference uh, temperature was 82 volts. 82 volts. I got volts on the mine. I don't know exactly. I'm going to take and move this off the thing so I can hopefully pick this up without turning it off. That's the plan anyway. There we go. I'll just sort of set that back off the side there. I think my thing fell over here, but I'll set that back up. Hopefully set it back up. Alright. Now let's see what we got here. See if you can get that in there. It came up 83, yeah, 83. Okay, you can see there's no heat there, basically. It says 84.9. Not sure exactly how to use it. I haven't read the instructions for it, but basically pointed it and hit it with the uh, laser beam, and uh, then I let off of it, went up a little bit. But I don't know. I can, uh, I can tell you by touching there is a little heat generated by it. I can feel the heat. Now it may be that this end of the of the uh, heat sink is not going to give me a, a, an accurate. Oh yeah, there we go. Got 199, 102. I got 102 right on the. Uh, transistor itself the top of it so there is a little heat generated but you know that's that's normal there should be some heat generated in an electronic device so I'm not gonna worry about that that's definitely not uh, hot so uh, what I will do is next I think we will look at this on the scope and see what kind of ripple voltage we get out of it if any and I need uh, my scope leads here and get to, I don't even think I've got a plug to plug that in yet. So let me do that and I'll come back. Alright, what you're looking at here is the uh, trace on the scope. It is connected across the 12 volt terminals. It is on AC. Um, there is no ripple to speak of. It is perfectly straight. That's uh, really the straightest I think I've ever seen. Now on the uh, DC, if we go down to DC, uh, we take one off, see what kind of drop we I think I'm on two volts per division, or maybe six. I can't see. Not on two. There you go. One, two, three, four. I'm not saying 4 volts, that's not right. Could be. Or is it 6? 2, 4, 6? No, 2, 4. Alright. I don't know how to use this thing yet. I'll put it back on there. Go back to AC. Uh, ground AC. Not sure how that works either. Um, Let's see, delay, delay, time base. Uh, if there's any ripple in there, it's very minimal. I'm thinking it's going to be fine. Let's take it up a little bit. Uh, 
get something different. Oh, there's a little bit there. Let's see if I can get that steadied in there. So we can see a little bit now. I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking at, but uh, anywho, that's definitely from the power supply. So. bit higher maybe with it. There we go, now we're getting some. This is just a straight line by the way, it's not a probe. I've just got my alligator clip lead uh, into the, B in the uh, BNC connector for the alligator clip leads is all this is across the uh, line. So there's what we're looking at. Let's see if I can slow it down a little bit. Sure, where the triggering is at on this trigger level, maybe. That's auto trig. Hold off. So, anybody that knows anything about <laughs> the scope, uh, see what it happens when I invert it. And I don't need the second trace. Okay, well, um, like I said, I'm not totally... sure about it, what I'm looking at. Like I said, anybody you guys have experienced with uh, what the scopes should look like. Um, coupling. Oh, maybe let's try AC coupling. No, that doesn't seem to do anything. If it did, it's gone. I'm online now. Anything else I put on gives me that. Source external. Channel 1, so I'm on the right thing. Uh, you'd think I'd, I'd read the manual on this, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, put this back up here a little bit. Like I said, that's what I'm looking at. Um, like I say, anybody that uh, experienced out there that can tell me a little bit more at what I'm really looking at. So... Down all the way. Alright, so that looks like what we're doing. So there we go. Like I said, that's uh, what we're looking at. Uh, like I say, I'm not really sure exactly what I got there, but uh, I got something. <laughs> that's the first time I've used this scope, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, like I say, I know that's not exactly a straight line, but uh, I don't know. I wonder if I could stretch it out a little bit. How do you do that? Well, let's make it go this way a little bit more. Yeah, it's stretching it out. That's stretching it out too much, I think. I can get that in now. 
There we go. Figured that out. How's that? That's what the waveform looks like. Hmm. What's this do? Not much of it. Oh, there we go. I had it there. Anywho, that's what that looks like. Um. So, anywho, uh, <laughs> uh, enough of that. So let me get back to this other. Alright, this is exactly what I had looked up. I just had it hooked up to the back of the uh, outputs there. With alligator clips, it goes directly into the BNC, into the scope. So, that's what we were looking at. Um, like I say, uh, if any of you guys are, are, are more familiar with what I was looking at, you can let me know. Uh, I'm just not that, I'm just not a big scope user. Never have been a big scope user. Um, I like the way they look. I mean, <laughs> even when I was doing TV, I mean, I, I could look at a, a waveform on the schematic, the SAMs, and it would say this, and you look on a scope, and I, it didn't look anything like it to me. <laughs> I might be wrong. I don't know, but, you know. All right, so that's pretty much going to wrap this up as far as uh, what I'm doing here. Let me get back to the other camera, and we will completely wrap it up. Hi, right, now you've seen it. This is the finished product. It is, you've seen the inside, you've seen the uh, scope reading, uh, display, whatever you want to call it. Um, it. You've seen how much it heats up, not much. Um, so this is going to be it uh, for this one. Like I said, there's uh, not much else to do except for paint it. And I think what I'm going to do is just take it out here like this and uh, tape, put some tape on this and, you know, just tape it up and put some paint or paint on it and go from there. It's not going to be nothing special, I can tell you that. Um, but like I said, you guys that, that know the scope readings, let me know what you think about that and see what kind of, if there's anything I can do about it, if it's all right, you know. So... Uh, I mean, I, I know what Ripple looks like. I, I've, I've seen Ripple many times. Um, that didn't look like Ripple. It looked like something. <laughs> Not sure what, but like I said, um, maybe I needed to compress it more to where that was a steady, steady thing in there. Maybe that's what I was missing. I don't know. Um, I'm, like I said, that's the first time I've turned the scope on and tried to measure something with it, so have to forgive me on that. I'm not a big scope user, never have been. So um, that's going to do it. You guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you.